welcome to this episode of One Door Workshop. I am Sarah and I'm going to show you how to make a really cool birch sign for your house. Um, I saw this sign on Pinterest a couple years ago and absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was so beautiful and wanted to make one. I was talking about it to some of my friends and one of my friends really wanted one. Um, her family was going through a lot. Her husband had brain cancer and was fighting that and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this for her. So I put together a sign, put all of her family's initials on there and mailed it off to them. And along, you know, over the years I've made a couple more for different people. Right before we moved from California, we needed a really big sign in our bedroom and I didn't have anything. I thought, you know what? I love this sign. I've never taken the time to make one for me. I'm gonna make one. So in California, I put together this sign. We had some extra fence boards. Um, I went through and cut them all to size. Put a fence board on the back. This is a new fence board. Um, screwed it on here and put a hanger on there and put the date and uh, signed it. So this was um, in our bedroom as a showstopper. So I love this sign. I think it's just really fun. When we moved to Michigan, one of my friends saw this sign and she's like, oh, I love that. I'm like, I know, isn't it so fun? You can totally make one. She's like, no, I can't. I'm like, yeah, you actually can. These are really easy to make. Um, but she didn't feel that she could. So I said, you know what, I'll just make one for you. So I found a pallet at someone's house and I got it. My husband ended up going through and cutting all the boards off of the pallet. We kept the nails in because I thought that was really cool. And you just have to make sure that when you, um, once you have all the boards, you have them all about the same size. And we did the same thing on the back of this pallet um, or this sign and put the boards on the back and screwed them in. So this episode, I'm going to show you how to actually go ahead and paint this once you have your sign ready to go. These are the paints that I used to make the sign. I got them at Target. They're just simple acrylic paints. Um, one bottle is enough to do at least one, maybe two signs with the birch trees. And I got a pack of the, a whole bunch of brushes at Michael's. These are the two brushes I use. One is a bigger one that I can use to do the um, birch trees and the very tiny one I use to make the initials on the trees. So now you can see how easy it is for you to go ahead and make your sign. It's super easy. We really just need to follow the lines 
straight down, straight lines. Anyone can do straight lines. I did it with um, paint. You can actually, the first couple times I just did it with chalk because then if you mess it up, you can just erase it right away. Um, once you have all these straight lines, you just go ahead and put in some fun branches. I tend to follow the sign that I um, found on Pinterest because I'm like, well, their sign looks amazing. I'm going to try to do something very similar. But you just want it to look really natural and just kind of make it, you know, just make it fun. I like the birds on there, so I put, I put fun little birds in there because everyone likes birds in their trees, I know. And um, then you just have to kind of go through and put all your um, initials on the tree. So the very, very tiny brush is, the, is best for that. And I just freehand it on there. Um, now you know how to make the sign. I hope you will like this episode of the One Door Workshop. And I uh, hope you're brave enough to just go ahead, go steal a palette. Actually, just ask for permission for the palette. Get the palette, get some fence boards, put them together, make this fun sign, and uh, hit the subscribe and like button down below. Thanks.